people and the settlement what is the meaning of the word settlement settlement in the sense we have seen look around us we have various towns cities villages where the people have settled down at a particular place the like construction of their houses or making their farm fields or looking after their businesses establishment of their businesses anything comes under the settlement now how did this settlement start or where did it begin what is the purpose of this as it starting from earlier onwards is it the same or is it the other things where did the settlements begin like nearly the human beings have established on this earth and they were earlier like 1.8 lakh years ago the human beings started living on this earth in the form of barbaric lifestyle around some 10000 years ago the man started to settle down at a place and started to do some work like doing agriculture earlier he used to go in search of food from one place to another place for long places so they could not settle at a particular place around some 10000 years ago they started to settle at a particular place started to do some work started to get some food for them started eating fruits and all these things have developed them to settle at a particular place especially nearby to the river valley regions where nearby to rivers you get the place where you can settle down clearly and do you, at least we need water and they are able to hit some animal with some stones and everything and get food for them or pluck some plants some trees some leaves and started to eat something so that settlements have lurched or emerged them into develop an agricultural activity with the development of the agricultural activity they started to settle down at a particular place and started to doing the jumping agriculture or the shifting agriculture what we have studied in the earlier lessons when the system has developed we got number of groups of people settling at a particular place as the expansion of the activity started now this group of people started to settle at a particular place they established their own rulers and now we started the moving of the people like from non agricultural activities the, not only the agricultural activities they started to move on the predicting of the atmosphere predicting on the climatic conditions the climatic seasons how does they work when do we get rain what kind of works we have to do this all things they started to do because if you want to do agriculture we should have an idea like when we are going to get the rains if you don't have that idea we can't do it in summer we can't put a crop and sow the seeds and wait them for the rain so the issues have developed them some scientific outlook for them and then they started to do the other occupations like craft works painting works or then lot to the other church temple works and all these things let them to do the other non teach agricultural activities which made them to settle in the new places and even the rulers of that particular period encouraged them to settle at the various new places and the population started to settle at a standard place rather than moving from one place to another place settlements till now we have discussed about the various reasons of settlements now how do the settlements change what is the meaning of the word change like how do the population move from one place to another place of a particular area the dynamics change for example let us take an example of delhi the capital of our country now see here in 1951 the population of delhi was 20 lakhs but now the population according to the latest census was 1 crore 60 lakhs can we examine like how did he go for that much like it is eight fold times higher than the previous one in last 50 years it has gone up to eight fold times like what are the factors that have changed the issue here like when delhi was well populated like 20 is a good number to get settlement there when we got the issue of like in uh, partition of the country many of the people migrated from here to there and many of the people from pakistan they migrated to india and we got the rail settlement here that has changed some dynamics of the population other than this delhi as soon as it is established as a capital region we got various departments like in parliament the number of people working in the parliament in the various departments the various secretariats various other departments and various other offices have established then automatically the number of people those who got jobs there they moved on to the nearby places and started to resettle there and the number of people those who are in the nearby to delhi have in search of their jobs moved on to there and now we have a problem in delhi that the exact of delhi organized structure is not at all perfect because for example if you see the planning of any area there are some areas which are allotted for playgrounds some areas which are allotted for holy places some areas which are allotted for parks and all these things but these people those who have migrated for in search of jobs for them have moved on to the places which are empty and which are unauthorized for them to use and they started to settle there by putting the huts of the bamboo huts and all these things and start to settle and live there for 20 years or 10 years or nearby to the or drainage canals or nearby to the areas which are in the dirt dirty areas and all these things and they started to settle there and live there for 20 years and 30 years that kind of areas are called the jaggi jhopri or the slums or the unauthorized colonies 
In Jaggi Jabtis, we have 21% of people living there. In slums, we have 26%. And in unauthorized colonies, we have 7% of population. Means nearly 50% of the population in Delhi is living in unplanned or unstructured or unlicensed places. This all happens again to the political issue here. Because the politics and the governments have to plan according to the interest of the will of the people. And they should not harm to the others when they are taking any step. And once if these all colonies like Jaggi Jopis or the slums or all these things were declared as illegal and we start them to relocate them from one place to another place, again the government has to show them one particular place where they are going to get relocated or they have to pay some compensation for them to them make capable for them to relocate to the other places. But when it comes to the issue of relocation here, relocating 50% of people means like nearly 7 to 8 80 lakhs of people it's not an easy thing we have to take it in a serious issue and the political issue get triggers here because that much population getting shifted at the same time will lead to political controversies and it can call the opposition call and all these things again it becomes a big political issue rather than the developmental issue and by the time government finalizes that this area is not fit for people to live this is given for some holy place or some park or some other uh, industries or something else automatically it triggers insecurity for them even though these people are living for 10 years or 20 years they feel insecure there at the same time government also can't take the direct action on them so there are various issues what the settlements have changed especially we have seen an example of delhi where it has grown up from 20 lakhs to 1 crore 60 lakhs into a flock high of eight times places that attract the settlements what kind of places attract the settlements like what is the basis for pe attract the people from one place to another place let us see here three major criteria are there for us the site the location of the place if you see the place called Pratapgarh, which is located by Chhatrapati Shivaji who constructed a fort according to him the fort should be on a higher elevation where we can see the enemies when they are coming inside and we can attack from from the higher elevation so he took up that site and he constructed the fort there according to his view the site helped him to do it a place which is isolated or separated from the com common people cannot be a place for settlement for example you can't do go and settle in a desert or you can't go and settle in a forest where you don't have the connectivity with from one place to another place so you have to settle at a place where you have the access to all the other things next the situation what is the situation that is binding us for us to do the things for example when you want to settle in a place where you have the opportunities then you go on to a place where it is having the opportunities like the situation is that you need opportunities at the same time you need a nice place to settle here you don't go to forest and expect an opportunity to come to you or you don't go far off places and expect the opportunity to come up to you far off place in the sense moving away from the community you don't get anything if you are in the community only you are entertained to get something next what is the history of a place for example you take Vizag. the Vizag is a place where the britishers and the french people dutch people fought each other to get the establishment over that though it's being a coastal region it has a hill locks and the natural harbor is present for that the britishers idea is to exploit it more for the natural resources to take over from one place to another place Vizag has the connectivity from india to the other major countries so Vizag has a good settlement place though it's having nice sites situation is appropriate and coming to the history Vizag is being a very good place and even we have now the naval dockyard places and all these things and many of the people have settled in Vizag Vizag is one of the fastest growing cities in our Asian continent. Till now we have discussed about the Vishakhapatnam or the Vizag region getting the settlement opportunities and all these things. If you look at the history of Vishakhapatnam also, many of the rulers have ruled it and established a culture and systematic pattern for it. And being it very close to the eastern part and the southern part, it acts as a link middle between this. It has been a very well developed and very well connected region not only through water but also by air and by rail this is one of the reason why the Vizag is in the fast development track coming to villages how do villages get popular of regions of settlements like when a village is connected to the other nearby villages or it is like a center for markets and all these things we get the farmers coming from one place to another place where the village market is organized we get the connectivity between them we get the transport facilities between them because of this many of the people would wish and settle there in that particular region so that they can go for the betterment of their lives this is the reason why the villages get settled but at the same time how the settlements get organized for example when we think of a village in village only we can have a primary health care center where we can get treatment for coldness fever illness like small small flus and all these things when it comes to an operation 
or when it comes to an MRI scan or a CT scan and all these things, we have to move from one place to another place like in cities where the well organized equipped things are available for us to get the treatment done. So the people would like to wish and settle at the place where you have the opportunities when an issue arises for you to address it. So in the villages where you are having only primary healthcare centers, does not be an interest of a people to go and settle at a village where there are no basic amenities available for us or where there is no proper healthcare available for us. At the same time, when in the cities where you have the issue of giving availability of major things, then automatically the people will have an interest of moving towards that and getting the things settled there. This also could be one of the reasons why the people are moving and settling from one place to another place, especially from villages to cities. Urbanization. What is the meaning of the word urbanization? Urbanization means here moving of people from village areas to cities areas or the urban areas. Like in technical terms, moving of people from rural areas to urban areas. Coming to Indian context, we have people living in cities or in the urban areas like 350 million people are living that is accounting for nearly one third of the Indian population. Like how many villages do we have first of all? Like how many people are migrating from here? Total number of population we know that it is nearly 1,211, like 1,200 million people are living in our country. So people are migrating from one place to another place. In 1950, when the statistics were taken, the number of villages are recorded is 5.6 lakh villages. As it moved on in 2011, the number of villages are registered is 6.4 lakh villages. So the people from these 6.4 lakh villages are moving on to various cities and then they are accommodating into the urban population. So naturally, it is an expected trend. They move on to the various major big cities. For example, the people of North India tend to move towards to Delhi. If the people of the other regions who are in the Central India or in the Western India or towards Eastern India, which are nearby to Bombay, move on to the Bombay region. When the other people, it moves on to South, they move on to Chennai. If they are in the Western part of South, they move on to Bangalore region. Like that, they move on to the Eastern parts, they move on to the Kolkata region. So, basing on the necessity or basing on the availability or basing on the structure which is nearby to us, people from the village try to explore the opportunities which are in the cities where you can get a better opportunity, better economic living standard and all these things motivated the people to move from the rural areas to the urban areas. This is the major issue of the resettlement of the people from rural areas to urban areas. When the issue is this, in 1950 we have discussed there are only 5.6 lakh villages, now it is 6.4 lakh villages and the entire population which is accommodating is 850 million. Now not only the four major cities or four metropolitans are getting overpopulated but the other cities which are compared like above 1 lakh population is nearly 40 cities are growing very soon like we example have we have the Hyderabad, the other places we are expanding very soon and they are getting the opportunities also for the people to meet their requirements. As the situations are moving on in this way, from the same to this way, the rural to urban areas, they are getting in a better organized way, they are getting a better living standards for them when they started to move here from lower areas to the higher opportunistic areas. We have discussed the urbanization issue of people and settlement. Now the major issue what we have to address here is the people of SC and ST population are more in the lower levels even in the cities. When compared to the rural areas, they are above their levels, but when compared to the cities, they are living in the various like slum areas where they don't have the proper basic communities and where they don't have the proper job facilities and all these things. When the case study was made on this, the percentage of people who are living in the slum areas, more people come from the either SC category or the ST category people. This has to be addressed very soon by the government to take the necessary steps. Now coming to the hierarchy of the cities in our country, we have the various hierarchies growing from the hamlets where a group of people living together which is a part of a village which is not a village which is a part of a village from there to villages where we have the upgradation of the village like a better settlement than the hamlets from the villages then from villages to towns where it is little bit organized and systematic when it comes to the cities where the population is like little bit one lakh and more than one lakh like that when it comes to the million plus cities like 10 lakh population and more than that we have the examples of million plus cities like Hyderabad, Chennai, Ahmedabad and all these places where the see the people of this area move on to the villages to their better opportunities. From villages they move on to the towns. From towns they move to the cities. As a cities we have the better opportunities in the other cities like in the million plus cities then they go on to the million plus cities. Still if they have the better opportunities than that then they go move on to the mega cities or the metropolitan higher end of the metropolitan cities that is the Mumbai, Delhi and 
Kolkata. These are the factors of the hierarchy of the cities of settlements what we have in our country. Now recently we got a new trend of the settlement that is the new cities that is airport cities or aerotropolis cities. Aerotropolis cities are nothing but the cities which is located in and around of the airport region. Why the area of airport region is getting more populated recently? Because airport we have constructed recently and the people those are travelling in uh, aeroplanes and all wish to do the things which are nearby to them and move out of the places as soon as it is possible rather than getting stuck in the local transport or the local traffic problems and all these things. Like we have the issues of like airport cities, hotels are constructed nearby to the airport regions, then we have the food supply for them for the people of uh, travelling, then business people conducting their conferences and all these things which made them to move on from one place to another place as soon as they finish their work here they move on to the other places to do their other further works as the time is more valuable for them and that too for the business people it is very valuable. We have the example of the airport policies like Rajiv Gandhi International Airport in our state like in Hyderabad, Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi, we have Dubai International Airport in UAE like that we have various other airports which are being accommodating the airport cities. But we have discussed about the various settlements and all these things. Let us discuss the, some of the problems which are arising because of the urbanization. What are the problems that are coming because of the urbanization problems? Generally, we have the problem of lack of jobs, lack of job security for us. Then coming to the major issues like water. Can we able to get supply water for all the people in the cities, especially those who are migrating from one, one place to another place. They don't get the proper settlement. They stay in the slum areas or in the jogi jopades which will not have the proper accommodation, don't have proper permissions for them. So, they don't have proper roads or infrastructure or healthcare centers or anything for them where they have to pay more to get all these things. Then moving on to the savage, how is the dust or like the waste things to be transported? Then how is the transportation for them from one place to another place? How can they reach from one place to another place? Because in the major parts of the city only you have the bus routes rotating here and there. But into the interior places you don't have them. And coming to the air pollution. In the urban areas, we have a lot of air pollution for us. What we can't do is the, as more number of vehicles are used on the roads of the urban areas, that leads to a lot of air contaminated because of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and all these things. So there are various health issues. Yes, people are getting a better opportunities when compared to the villages and the other places, but they need to get the address these health issues also. Those are moving to the urbanizations. At the end of the day, all are Indians and should be taken care for them properly.